Derek Rash, Senior Product Manager with LaserTech. Today, we're going to talk about the new True Pulse L2 model about some basic training. We're going to talk about button navigation, measurement modes, and targeting modes. First off would be button navigation. The unit has four different buttons. You've got your power on button, two different navigation buttons on the side, and your mode button. First off is the power button. It's a short press to turn on the unit, the display is on, and you're ready to measure. An important feature is to check out the firmware of the laser range finder. From your power off state, long press and hold the fire button, then hit the display button once, then the short press, the down arrow, is gonna show you your firmware version. Continue holding the fire button. Once you release the fire button, it's ready to measure. That's how you check out the firmware version for tech support and service calls. This is how you perform a factory reset. Press and hold the fire button. Display turns on. You hit the display button once, then the up arrow. And at this point, the display will change to red. Release the fire button. Now you're ready to measure. Now I'm gonna show you how we're able to change and access the different measurement modes once the unit has been powered on. To do that, you're gonna use the two navigation buttons, the up and down arrows to change the measurement modes. With the unit on, you can just press the down arrow and it'll go back from like horizontal distance to slope distance. Short press the arrow again. You can navigate to missing line routine. Short press down again. Goes to height measurements. Press, short press the arrow down again. It's vertical distance. You press that one more time, it goes back to horizontal distance. You can also use the up arrow to navigate to any of the different measurement modes. Once you're in that measurement mode, you can perform that measurement by pressing the fire button. The True Pulse L2, new out of the box, comes with factory settings. And one of those factory settings is the standard targeting mode. To change that targeting mode, make sure your unit's powered on, then we're gonna long press the menu button. It's gonna show you the first targeting mode, standard mode. Then we wanna short press the menu button and a little box pops up. Now we can change the different options by using the up and down arrow buttons. Press the up and down arrow buttons until you find the targeting mode you want selected. Press the fire button and now you're ready to measure using that targeting mode. To change the units of measurement, we're gonna use the display menu button. Unit powered on, you want to long press this menu button, gets into the menu settings options. From there, we're going to use the down arrow until you find units and degree. From here, we're going to short press the menu button, and a box pops up. Now you're in that units of measurement where you can change different options. Use the down arrow or up arrow to see the different options. And once you find the option you want to choose or use, press the fire button, and now you're ready to measure. The unit comes with four different reticle options. To change the reticle, it's going to be use the display menu button. Long press the menu button to get into the menu settings. Now we use the down arrow or up arrow until you find reticle in the display. At this point, you want to short press the menu button. Now use the up and down arrows and see the different options. Once you see an option you want to use, press the fire button, it takes you back to the ready to measure screen. To turn the pulse motor on, we're gonna use the display menu button. Long press the menu button. Use the up and down arrows until you find pulse. Once you find pulse, short press the menu button. Now you can use the up and down arrows to toggle on and off. Choose the option you want, press the fire button, and your settings are saved. To get the slope distance, power the unit on, and all we need to do is use the up and down arrows to find the slope distance icon. Once you find the slope distance icon, with the clear line of sight to the target, press and hold the fire button, you'll see the values displayed. You'll see an inclination value and your slope distance value. Press the up and down arrows, now I see my horizontal distance value that's been calculated from that slope distance measurements, and also I see my vertical distance measurements. I can navigate back to slope distance and repeat the process. You can also take measurements in the horizontal distance mode or vertical distance mode, and then use the navigation buttons to see all the different values of so slope distance, horizontal distance, or vertical distance. 
To perform a three shot high routine, power the unit on, use the up and down arrows to navigate to the height icon, shot, and horizontal distance icon. From here, we're gonna take our first measurement of a horizontal distance to the target. Press and hold the fire button. You'll see the result. Auto sequence is angle one. Here, I'm gonna to aim to the base of the target, get my tilt angle, release the fire button, and auto sequence to angle two. Now I'm gonna to measure the top of the target, press and hold the fire button, release, the result is shown, and the height result is calculated and shown. That's performing a three-point height routine. Performing a 2D vertical missing line routine. Make sure the unit's on, I'm gonna use the up and down arrows to navigate to the missing line routine. You're gonna see shot one, the missing line icon, and the horizontal distance icon. I'm gonna take shot one to my first target, press and hold the fire button, I get its value. Auto sequences to shot two. Now I'm gonna take a measurement to the second target, press and hold the fire button, see the results, it auto sequences to the horizontal distance value. Now to see the other values between shot one and shot two, I'd use the up arrow to see slope distance, short press the up arrow again, I see vertical distance. Short press up arrow again, I see horizontal distance, press the fire button, and I can repeat the process. Make sure the unit's powered on. I long press the menu button and target mode pops up. Now I short press to see the different options. You can use the up and down arrows to navigate to closest. You see closest mode with its icon. Now I'm gonna press and hold the fire button. As you can see here, the shortest distance target will always be displayed and there'll be a multi indicator around the flower indicating multiple targets. Again, the shortest distance target acquired will always be displayed. To change the target mode to the farthest, press and hold the menu button. Get the target modes, short press the menu button, then use the up and down arrows to navigate to farthest mode. See the farthest mode and the icon? I can press and hold the fire button and acquire multiple targets. It's always gonna show the farthest distance measurement acquired. Another target mode is continuous mode. To change it to continuous mode, long press the menu button to get the target options. Short press to get the box. Now use the up and down arrows to find continuous and its icon. Press the fire button. Now continuous mode is activated. You can see that by the icon. Now you can press and hold the fire button and the unit will continue to measure the targets and update in the display. Once you release the fire button, the last measurement is displayed. If you continue to hold the fire button and continue to update, the laser will fire for 10 seconds and the last measurement will be displayed. The final target mode is called filter mode. In this mode, the laser sensitivity is reduced to only measure the highly reflective targets like a prism. It must be used with a mechanical filter placed on the receive lens like this. To navigate to the filter mode, Turn the unit on, we're going to long press the menu button until we get target, and we're going to short press the menu button to get that box indicator that you're in the mode. Use the navigation buttons up and down to find filter and its icon. Short press the fire button, and you can see the filter mode is activated with the icon. Look at the highly reflective target, press and hold the fire button, and the measurements will be displayed. Main targeting mode is standard. This is what we call first target. There'll be no icon with the standard mode in the display. You press and hold the fire button and the first target will be acquired and displayed. That is standard mode. That concludes our basic training of the TruePulse L2. Contact LaserTech if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.